Welcome back to EGL10. My name is Tony. I'm here with Swanee. We just seen Infused beat Prophecy on main stage. Three one in the end there. If anything, it looked convincing. Well, what about that? I don't think any. I think Infused have always been. You know, they came to the event. Everyone thought top three team, but beating Prof. You know, their first matchup. Ridiculous. It's really big for Infused as well. They really wanted this. I was speaking to the guys beforehand and they said, you know, if we want to beat anybody, we want to beat Prophecy. Yeah. And that's what they went and did. I mean, if you looked at the game, the first map, hard point, Prophecy were wearing the lead. They were talking 100 points around that, that total anyway. And they absolutely just trained themselves yeah. back up there. I don't know how they did it, really. I mean, Infused just coming back, making all the important kills, I think. Jake Dalton came in, the big grudge yeah. match, dropped a 40 bomb, I think. He had all the streaks. And I think the main thing was Infused just capitalised on the momentum. Yeah. As I said before the match, uh, I thought I expected them to take all the respawn game modes, and they actually did, um, losing on S&D, which is yeah. their weakest game mode. Yeah, well, the S&D uh, Infused did lose that. There's the Infused lineup on your screen. There's Jake, Josh, Bissell, Vintage. We do actually have a, an interview coming up with Jake in just a second. But the S&D, you've seen uh, Prop actually 2-0 down at one point, ended up winning yeah. that 6-3. So, I mean, they really did come back into that game. But then the, the, the second, the CTF, it was really like both teams were just trading punches. Nothing really was going on. Yeah. A couple of flag runs, but nothing really drastic. Um, and then it got to the stopwatch. You thought Prop were going to get it. And then Infuse came back and Jake picked up two pieces and then he picked up three pieces and then he got the flag away, got it returned. And then eventually Madcap was in a good position to pull the flag away. Here comes the Hellstorm yeah. missile. Just completely ruins their lives and that was the map gone. Yeah. It was I mean, in every series, there's, I think you can pinpoint the victory on like on one map or one turning point. I think that was the CTF. Um, I think it's arguably Prof's strongest game mode actually. Mm -hmm. So to see them lose that, that must have been a huge blow for momentum. And obviously Infuse just capitalised on that and went on to win. Yeah, going into the next map, the hard point on uh, Raid in the end. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I was standing behind the Prof guys and they were getting pumped up because they were saying, yeah, Raid's one of our best maps, mm -hmm. definitely. And they came into it and they were doing pretty well. They had spawns going and then Infuse took a pretty substantial yeah. lead and then that was it, really. I mean, not, they couldn't just catch them up. It was just trading blows and not really narrowing the deficit by anything. And then they eventually, Infuse walked away with it because it came impossible for Prophecy and took the Series 3-1. I mean, at the start of the raid, I thought Prof got up. Uh, you actually tweeted they got off to yeah, a yeah, wonderful yeah, start. start. Uh, Jerd was dropping kills, Dylan was dropping kills, but then Infuse sort of just brought it back gradually yeah, and gradually, yeah. and they ended up getting, I think, like nearly 100 points on consecutive hills. Yeah, I know. They, I mean, you, I was standing behind Jerd, and it, like he was just literally making every single yeah. kill. He was like on fire, and it, like, it's ju they just dropped off. They just got lost a little bit of that hype that they yeah. had. And uh, it was unfortunate for them because if they kept on that, I mean, there was no doubt that we're going to win it. But infused, no, you can't take anything away from them. Yeah. They I mean, the winning map well. as well, which was slums. I think the crucial moment in that was Vintage got his streaks quite early on. Yeah. And it's important to get streaks on that map because whoever gets the streaks first, you can just take them off the anchor spot pretty much every time. So that map just revolves around pretty much whoever gets the first streaks. Yeah, it's all it's all about the anchor on that yeah. one. And of course, use the Hellstorm missile, all the lightning strike to take out that anchor. But we are actually going to go and head over to Carrie Bennett. She's with Jake.